Another communication method between processes that is used all throughout Linux is signals. Unlike pipes, where you could send, say, uh, an array, signals, with signals you just sort of send a notification, just a simple uh, integer that says uh, to the other process what it should do. And that's it. It doesn't send any more information. And that is used to sort of take control of that process. So, for example, if I have a process and I want to pause it, to pause its execution, well, I can actually do that using signals. Now let's see how we can send such a signal. To start off, we're going to uh, actually fork our process. I'm going to say if PID equals fork. And if our PID is negative one, then I'm just going to return an error code. Okay. And then if we are in the child process, if our PID is zero, I want to do something not amazing. And it is just an infinite loop of printing sentences on the screen. And I don't want it to print out at maximum speed. I just, let's say I want uh, 20 times a second to print on the screen. So I'm just gonna sleep, uh, I'm gonna call the useSleep function. And this guy takes in the number in the number of microseconds. It should just pause its execution. I'm gonna give it here, since microseconds are one millionth of a second, I'm gonna give it 50,000. Uh, millionth of, of a second that that's really 50 milliseconds and that should be exactly one tw one twentieth of a second this useful function you can find in uni std.h all right and let's say in uh, the else program what we do is just simply weight of null that's all now this is a bit problematic because the program just continues on printing on the screen forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and it never stops. So the both the parent and the child are just gonna get stuck. So if I try to launch this, well, you'll notice that it's just gonna keep on printing on the terminal here. Even if I try to terminate the process here, I'm just gonna terminate the parent and the child is gonna, the child process is gonna keep on printing on the screen. So I have to go to htop and actually kill the process. Although what I just did, basically terminating that process from the htop command uh, can be done programmatically in C and you can send signals even here. To do so, we're going to need to include first signal.h. So I'm just going to include here signal.h and this guy uh, gives us a simple function that we can call on the parent to kill the child process that just kind of started executing in, a, in an infinite loop. To send a signal to another process, we can call the function named kill. And albeit the name is strange, it doesn't necessarily kill the process. It just sends a signal and then the, uh, the process that receives that signal knows what to do with it, whether it is to terminate itself or pause its execution or whatever else it might need to do. In this case, what we're going to do is actually terminate the process. So we're going to first have to pass in the process ID that we want to send the signal to. So, well, we know the process ID is this speed here, right? Because that's what we're receiving in the parent uh, process. And next is the signal that we want to send. And that is, we want to send the sig kill uh, signal that should actually terminate the child process. And now to make sure that the while loop runs for a while, I'm gonna wait for a second using the sleep function that takes in just seconds here. So I'm gonna say sleep of one. So wait one second before actually killing the child process, which should print about 20 uh, lines in the terminal. So if I try to launch this now, you will notice that we're gonna get some lines of code of text printed on the screen and then the Pro both processes actually finish their execution. With this, we were able to actually stop the execution of a process that kept on executing something forever and ever. Right? This is useful when you have something like a uh, an event handler that keeps on listening for things to receive forever and ever until someone sends the seek kill uh, signal or other types of signals. Now, a really important thing to notice here is that receiving signals did not depend on the order of the execution of the code. So right with pipes, we had to actually hit a line of code that said read or write or something 
specific. But in here, even though we were in a while loop, the signal got handled and the process got killed. Right? So these signals are sort of outside the, uh, the code they are executing. So whenever you're executing some code, if you receive a signal, the process just pauses there for a second and executes the, the code that needs to be executed when a signal is received. And in this case, it actually terminated the process, so nothing else was printed afterwards. But suppose it, you could actually send different signals, telling it whatever you want, and uh, after it is handled, it could continue its execution. Now, there are all sorts of signals in uh, Linux. Here's a list of them. You don't really have to know all of them. You don't really have to use all of them, but here they are. And some notes here, uh, you can see the SIG child process which is actually the signal that is sent from the child to the parent when a child actually terminates and there's a few other ones that we can take a look here here's seek kill that we have used to actually stop the process and uh, down here i think it is there's seek usr1 and seek usr2 so these are sort of signals that are uh, not defined by the operating system they are user defined so they are there for basically for somebody to use them in case you want something custom as you can see all the others actually have some sort of uh, default functionality other interesting notable uh, signals are the sig stop signal which just basically stops the execution pauses the execution of the process so that uh, well the process is not terminated it can continue its execution but it's just paused and then when it receives the sig cont or sig continue uh, signal it can continue its execution so with this you can actually uh, basically control whether or not a process is executing or not that's really all i wanted to talk about in today's video just a very very basic uh, explanation of signals right they are different from pipes and they are they are used to control mostly control the processes at uh, a sort of granular level just terminate the process or stop the process or something related to processes or io happened um, in later lessons we're going to take a look at how to actually handle a signal right? because right now we just send a kill command and it automatically kills itself but you can actually uh, tell it how to handle that signal you can actually tell it to ignore certain signals and uh, a lot more other customizations can be achieved with these signals it is quite interesting so i hope you stick around Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got something out of it. If you do have any questions, again, leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Take care. Bye.